So today we are going to make a solution with you using Aristic Concentrate. Now it has a new packaging. We have a jar like this, which has become even smaller. It's just 150 grams. And the packaging will include two such sachets with an activator. So we need to mix it with 4 liters and 800 milliliters of water. That's how we make a solution. Pay attention that there you can find a sticker that shows the date of manufacture of your concentrate. Also, you can find a brief video instruction on the package of the concentrate. And here on the activator. I will repeat it one more time. There should be one jar and two activators. It's very important. So, let's get started. Firstly, we need to measure the water. We take a water. I have filtered water. It means that I used a filter at home to get this water. And I start to measure it using a measuring cup. I need 4 liters and 800 milliliters. Let's pour it here. One, two, I specially took such a transparent container, not a canister, so that you can see the process more clearly, to make it more visible. In general, I usually use a canister. And four. And we have to also measure 800 milliliters. Here it is. 800 milliliters of water I have already poured into a separate and took some more water from the total amount so that I can dilute the past well and qualitatively. I pour it back so that it will be more confident for me to work with it. We have 4 liters and 800 milliliters in total, just for you to know. It's the water that was taken from the total amount. So I pour some water to cover the bottom of a separate container. I open the jar with a paste and put the paste in the container. Here it is. And while I'm putting the paste, I want to pay attention to that the paste can have completely different appearance. It depends on storaging. It can be frozen and become white and dimmy or can be stratified. Don't be afraid of it. It's nothing to worry about. It doesn't affect the qualities of the paste in any way. That's why I don't pay attention to the way it looks. I have a slimy paste right now. That's because it was at home in warm conditions and I took it immediately after it was produced. I've put all of the paste. I pour water here up to the edges and close a jar. Those who have been using Arista for a long time know the magic shaker shaker We just shake a jar to wash the edges of it. Simultaneously, I mix the paste with a small amount of water in this container. There can be some lumps. It's nothing to worry about, but it's important to mix it firstly with a small amount of water so that it will be like a jelly. It's very important. So that there will be less lumps there. We've shaked the jar, opened it. Here we can pour the water. Look if we have something on the walls. In my case, there is nothing left. You may need to repeat this procedure. The jar is no longer needed. You can throw it away or use for some household needs. We had one technologist, she did like this. She put it before the light and looked if there were any lumps. By the way, I also recommend it to you. That's when the lumps are clearly visible. Well, the lumps are slowly disappearing. I can say, I can't say that there aren't any, but the solution becomes better. And I have mixed it almost up to the jelly state. I add more water 
and mix it again. Pay attention to the fact that I don't use blenders, mixers or anything else like this. To be honest, I don't like when people use such devices. I don't think that it's necessary to use them because Arista is in the state of a paste, not a powder. Here it's perfectly dissolved. If you got used to them, it's more convenient for you, you can use them. But then you will have to wash a lot of dishes. Here it is, it has dissolved. Now I poured it into a common container. Pay attention to the fact that I haven't opened the activator. It's still on the sachets. I poured it into a common container. I'm raising this glass with water so that there is nothing left on the walls. Don't mix it with hands. You might have paid attention to the fact that I mix it with a stick because the paste is concentrated. I do not recommend you to mix it with hands. It's unnecessary. Take care of your hands or use gloves. It means that you can touch it when it's diluted, but you shouldn't when it's concentrated. So the jar is almost clean. Here we start to mix it and we can see that we have some lumps left. They are very small. They are smaller than a pea in diameter. And there is still swimming like this here. There is nothing to worry about. The concentrate will be dissolved. And we have some water left and two sachets of activator. We open them. The solution won't work without the activator, just in case. We add the first sachet. We should squeeze everything out of here. Yeah. Now we open the second sachet. I just poured it into the common container right away. And that's it. Now we add the second sachet. Excellent. Now we mix it. I can add all the remaining water at once. Here. Mix it again. Look at what I want you to pay attention. I will take a racket and will show you. The solution doesn't work well after it's prepared. It means that it needs to brew for some time anyway. The amount of time depends on what temperate was the water for diluting how thoroughly you have mixed it. So a lot of factors can affect it. In my container it will be clear when all of the lumps will be dissolved. It means that we can use the solution. What else should I mention? Well, let me pour it right now and I will show you. I will show you what you can do with the solution when it's just been diluted. We've just diluted it with you and no time has passed yet. Let's take this record. In fact, we can see that we can inflate bubbles. It means that we can make bubbles. Here they are, and also bubbles like this. One second, let me show you. In general, we can make bubbles, but the solutions still work in not in a full power. Let's suppose that we've came to an event, something happened with the solution, and you need to dilute the new one urgently. You can dilute Arista and immediately work with it. That's what you can do, but preferably you shouldn't. Let me show you. Come here, buddy. We can see such a beauty. When the solution is brewed, it will become more slimy because all of the lumps will be dissolved. It means that you can work fine on the street. It means that you can work with it continuously. But if you happen to perform in a very dry room, as I am now, where heating devices are turned on, the room wasn't ventilated for a long time and you can feel the dryness on your lips. It means that you can add some water. You can do this. See how much. For instance, you can add one and a half liter of water to the five liters of the solution but you should adapt the amount to the conditions. It depends on the humidity in the room. Once again, I want you to pay attention to it. If the room is dry, the bubbles will burst quickly. In this case, you need to add some water. Let me tell you briefly about the most common questions how to store the concentrate. The diluted solution can be stored in this container. You pour everything up to the performance here, in the container, like this. 
Then close it to, so that the dust doesn't fall there. And you can store it like that. By saying like that, I mean you can store it in the same room, but a little bit in a corner. There you can store it and nothing will happen with it. It has a sufficient amount of preservatives in it. If you put the solution in the fridge, then you should warm it up to the room temperature. I won't work cold. If you put it outside, it can become dimmy. It means not transparent. It doesn't mean that there is something wrong with the solution. You just need to warm it up. It's cold. Also, I want you to pay attention to the different silicones that can be in different perfumes, creams and other things. It can affect your solution badly. You can read more about this and about everything on my website in the blog section. I talk here about the solution and what can harm your soap bubbles. And I wish you to enjoy using our concentrate. If you have any questions, write to us. You can do it in any social networks. We'll definitely answer you. Bye-bye.